Hello everyone, today is Wednesday, September 23rd and I was thinking about it and it was just over a month ago now that the storms came through Marshalltown and just did a number on our town. And we were without power here for a week. And so if you were anything like me, you probably were taking around a little flashlight, something like this with you everywhere you went at night for sure, because you needed it to see where you were going in the house. And it wasn't obviously the same as having overhead lights on and having electricity because I could only see the few steps in front of me. It was the only thing that helped me to get around. Otherwise I was gonna be tripping over all of my all of my you know really expensive books and everything that's in my room no but really it was the only way i could get around the only it was a saving grace during that time to have a flashlight that i could depend on and i share that story because today our psalm actually the response that we proclaim is lord your words are a lamp to my feet lord your words are a lamp to my feet indicating that it is only by the Word of God that we can move forward, only by the Word of God that we can see where we're going. A lot of times we can experience these times of spiritual darkness in our own spiritual lives, or times where we just can't really see a lot of what's coming ahead of us. I know that this time feels like, like that for me. I can't say what next month is gonna hold or the month after that, all of these uncertainties because we live in an uncertain world and even more so in the midst of a pandemic. But we can always hold to the Word of God. The Word of God is always that lamp that's going to light our way even when we can't see a whole lot in the future. And like a lamp, it's not going to show us the whole future, not going to show us the big, big picture, but that's not what we need. God calls us to be faithful, not to have be all-knowing like He is. If we are faithful, then we can take the light that He gives us in His Word and take those next steps, whatever those might be. So today, I invite you to open up your Bibles, to read a psalm or two, read a proverb or two. That's where we're going in our lectionary cycle right now in our first reading. But read something and, and let that be your guiding light today and every day so that we might always be faithful to the Lord in all that we do and in all that we say.